what's going on. They finally released the Bow Wow surveillance camera. Uh, it shows what happened before the fight. I don't know if they actually captured uh, the fight. And it kind of tells what happened and what led to the whole incident. And uh, pretty much it's kind of shit. And Bow Wow broke some rules. But let's talk about it, man. Good fellow Sports TV. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. And I'm going to tell you if that TMZ story matched up with the video. And I'm going to link the article in the description so you can see the whole nine. Um, but he said Bow Wow was enraged at his girlfriend before their violent fight. Forcefully snatching something from her. Cornering her and getting all up in her grill. According to surveillance uh, obtained by TMZ now. Yeah. He was mad. All right. You know. He, he was, you know, he was mad. And then, you know, he snatched like his keys or something from her. And then she kind of moved away a little bit. Then he walked to the other side of the elevator. Kind of like a dude was trying to kind of mediate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's all right. He wasn't trying to, you know, do too much. But he was just trying to make sure Bow Wow didn't, didn't try to hurt her. Well, he should have been making sure she wasn't trying to hurt Bow Wow. And then he walked to the other side of the elevator. And then, apparently, according to him, she called him a bitch-ass nigga. And then Bow Wow didn't take them kind, too kind of them words. And he got all in her, in her grill. And pretty much... They walked off the elevator together. She wasn't that threatened where she wasn't that threatened where she, you know, just was like, all right, I'm just going to call the lift and go to my home girl house and go back to the crib or whatever. But, you know, she felt, you know, she, you know, like, man, this nigga ain't going to do nothing. Knock whoop his ass. And pretty much that looked like what's happened. But, um, you know, but they stories, let's talk about their stories. Okay. Um, she basically said, um, you know, she told cops by while flew into a jealous race because she was talking to another man at a party, Bow Wow backed her story up and said she called him a bitch ass nigga. And, um, you know, she goes on to say, obviously, on a 911 call that, you know, Bow Wow hit her several times, took her phone, and refused to let her out of the bedroom. Okay, but at the end of the day, it looked like she refused to let Bow Wow out the bedroom. It looked like she took Bow Wow's cell phone. It looked like she beat the hell out of Bow Wow several different times. You no, know, he got one, two, three stripes across his face. Okay, he got bites on his marks on on his side. You know, it ain't nothing wrong with her. She said he hit her several times, like nigga, like several times, like nigga, your face clean as hell. And ain't no shots of her body being hit on. And I don't be believing what these these bras be saying nowadays. They always trying to, they always want to assist, uh, you know, the system into lynching niggas. And that's what the fucked up thing about it is. All right, but at the end of the day. He was aggressive on surveillance, but he did not put her, his hands on her, okay? And she called him a bitch nigga, but at the end of the day, Bow Wow brought sand to the beach. Even if she your ex, you know, you gonna feel some type of way because you picked her up, y'all went to a party together, y'all casual together. You don't bring sand to the beach, man. I don't I don't want to take my girl to no club. I don't want to take my girl to no bar. No, we go out to eat. We can go, you know, to a dancing club. This was strictly dancing, but I'm not taking my girl to another club. You know, I'm not taking my... my no, who does that? Who brings sense to the beach? You know, unless you into them type of things, you take your girl to this t titty bar, y'all into that type of stuff, then, hey, uh, hats off to you. But my wild boss saying to the beach, and she thinking like, man, you know, he probably took her out to dinner and shit, you know. They went to a hibachi grill or some shit like that, and and she and he thinking like, oh, I'm about to rekindle this flame. You know, I done bought this bra something to eat. He probably done bought her some drinks before they got there and when they got there. And then she done ran off, probably got the drink in her hand, talking to another nigga. Not disrespectful. You came with, with Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? You know, already know niggas jealous of Bow Wow. Well, they ain't jealous no more, but they used to when he was younger. And they got an opportunity to get revenge and, and snatch Bow Wow broad. Yeah, you know what it is. And she know what she was doing, but she, never, she don't respect Bow Wow. She look at Bow Wow as a beta male. I can tell you that already. She don't respect Bow Wow, you know, ain't a... And women do that, man. And, 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 and people may not think about that as, as being prov to provoke some action from a man. But women, once they get to know you've been in a relationship, they get to feel you out. They know how to push certain buttons to make that action, reaction come out of guys. So they, she know when she called him a bitch ass nigga. You, she knew what type of reaction she was trying to get out of him. You know, and not to, to sound sound like insensitive to the situation, but you know. She had it coming if he did whoop her ass. Like, you, I mean, he probably them took her out to eat. Drinks never know. He probably took her shopping. They cooling. And then, you know, he come with her and she goes in another nigga face. And you think you about to jump back in my whip? Shit, I left her at the club if I was by a while. You know, but at the end of the day, 
in this day and age, you got to keep your hands to yourself, you know, all the time. But at the end of the day, it looked like she wouldn't let him out that bedroom, okay? It looked like she went Billy Blake's top bow, right, 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 left, left, left. Like she went roll on his head, you know? And if he did put his hands on her, he won't be doing it again. She she already uh, pressed charges and gave this nigga a sentence, you know what I'm saying? This nigga did time. He did the whole nine. She handled the judicial system right in that bedroom and beat her ass. But, you know, it is what it is, man. They looking to make black men the face of domestic violence, man. And all my brothers out there, man, get y'all hitting cameras together because these women will take hammers and hit their arm and say you did something you didn't. You know, that's what it's about. You know, and, and black women, and not to get on them, but hey, you can't be assisting the, the, uh, the system to, to, to really kill us and, and, and jam us up with this domestic violence shit. Now, if you got a serious situation going on where a nigga really going upside your head, then, hey, man, go ahead and hit that 911 button get that nigga up out of there, you know? But if it's some petty shit or you lying about shit, man, you know, we don't need no more people, you know, targeting our black men. You know, our black women are supposed to assist us, you know? And why are we supposed to assist them, too? And I don't think neither side is doing enough enough uh to really uphold uphold that standard but you know but we don't need no more of this shit man you know but we'll see what happened but it's it's, it's a tight one man you know when uh they get in, in charge you know even if they don't cooperate now they still gonna press some charges so we'll see what happened but good fellow sports tv i'll link all the information in the description in the article so you can see the video don't forget me on facebook twitter you can reach out to the email if you got business question inquiry Salute to everybody checking us out, man. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's there, too. Do me one better. Share the videos, man. appreciate y'all. Check out our playlist. Guarantee you're going to find something you like or multiple things you like that we talk about. Good Fellow Sports TV. We go.